G'day everyone. So today we're going to continue working on our lampshade here. Um, the very first part that we're going to make on this lampshade is this part in the middle here which is called the center ring. So I'm going to turn off the other part so you can see only that. Turn the lights off all those. So this specific little part here is what we're going to be working on. Now in order to start drawing this object, we need to go to a new project and a new file. And I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. You will also have available to you the um, sheets of the drawings, which give you the various dimensions that you need to draw these objects. So that will be available to you on Daymap. Now, going back to Fusion 360, as I said, this is the first part we're going to do, but before we do that, we need to create a new project for this particular task. So in the menu here, I have my name up the top there. This is my, sorry, this is the data panel, by the way. Um, and we're going to create a new project. So I'm going to click New Project, and I'm going to call this project Lampshade. And I'll click Enter. That's just going to create that project for us. And there it is. So I'll double click on the lampshade project. At the moment there's nothing in it. So once I've done that, all I need to do is go to an untitled brand new model here. Um, and I can do that just by going File, New, Design, or when you first open Fusion 360 it should come up something like this anyway. So the first thing I'm going to do on this model is I'm going to need to start a new sketch. So in order to create an object, we start with a 2D sketch of that object, and then we usually will do some sort of 3D manipulation to make it um, a 3D shape. So I'm going to start with Create Sketch, and I'm going to pick the plane which is lying flat. So I want to create this object lying flat, as if it were sitting on the top, top of the desk, perhaps. So I'm going to click that plane there, which gives me exactly what I need. Next, I need to start adding in some of the different shapes. So looking at the drawing here I've got two circles but I look at one which is, has a radius of 20 and another one with a diameter of 85 millimeters. So I'll go back to Fusion 360 and I'll draw those. So I'm going to click on the little sketch drop down menu here and this gives me a heap of different options. What I would like to do is create a circle. So I'm going to click the center diameter circle, click that origin point there and move it out and the first circle that I had the middle one had a radius of 20 or therefore a diameter of 40. So I'm going to type in 40 there and hit enter and that gives me that first circle. Next I'm going to go back to that click circle, click center diameter circle again, click the center point and this time it's 85 millimeters. And that's where we should be at at this point. Let's just have a quick look. So I've got that inner circle and that outer one. Now I need to make these four uh, slots into this, uh, from the inside out. Now you can see there the dimension whoops, for those is 17.56 millimeters from the inside from that radius of 20 outwards to there, and they are three millimeters wide. So going back to Fusion now, I'm going to start mine off from my 20 millimeter circle and I'm going to use a different tool now, I'm going to use a rectangle tool and I think that this will use the center rectangle tool which should work quite well. So I'm going to put my center point in line with the origin point here, so along that line there and I'm going to move out and my first box there says six millimeters in it, I'm going to type three, then I'm going to hit tab I'm going to type 17.56 and I'm going to go times 2 because this is a center point rectangle it's going to move it from that center point out so I'm going to need to double that. So there we go I've got that rectangle all drawn in now. Now my next task is to take that shape that I've just made and I'm going to mirror or pattern it sorry circular pattern is what I need. I'm going to pick that particular object so in this case it's going to be those three lines, that one and that one as well. So all those lines there. My center point that I'm going to pattern around is the center point there, and I want four of those. So I've been able to draw those four rectangles now around that center point, and you can see that we're getting pretty close to what we need. 
and hit OK. So I've now got all those particular parts drawn in. And before I do anything else, I'm going to do a little bit of one task in here, which is called Trim. I'm going to use the Trim tool as well, and I'm just going to remove the lines I don't need. So this one here, 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 this one here. So all of these are the lines on the inside here. And I'm going to remove these ones in here also. So once I've done this, I'll end up with just what I would want to extrude now. This process isn't completely necessary, we could get away without doing it, but it does give us a really good idea of exactly what we're going to extrude. Alright, you can see that these areas around the side here have gone blue. What we will do for those is just give them a quick dimension to make sure they hold their shape. Actually, we'll undo that. We'll just leave it at that. So there we go, we have our center ring there, the sketch of it drawn. So if we go and have a look at the one here, it looks pretty close to that, which is what we're after. So now we're going to click the stop sketch button up here on the toolbar. And that's the sketch as it is right now. We'll click home. That changes us to a home view. Alright, and now we're going to extrude that part. So I'm going to select extrude, I'm going to select the profile I'd like to extrude, which is that outer area. And I would like to extrude it by 3 millimeters. So 10 is obviously too far, I'll just type 3. And I'll hit OK over here. Now before we actually leave the extrude tool, you can see that we can decide where we want to start our extrude. We can change directions if we want it to go out one side or we want it to go out symmetrically, we can also do that. Um, we can pull it out a specific distance, or we can pull it out you know, to another object, those sorts of things. But we'll learn more about that later. So I've got that center ring now, and click OK, and there's the basic center ring. It doesn't look quite the same as this one, because this one's had some appearance and material changes made. So we will do those. So selecting the entire object, we're going to select it all, and we're going to click on Physical Material. We're going to click on wood, and any of these woods will do. I'm just going to pick oak white, I think that's the most suitable. I'm going to click and drag it onto the object. There we go. So I now have that center ring with a type of timber on it. And to make it look as though I have given it, a, I have laser cut it out, I'm going to make these edges black. So I'm going to pick in the menu here and click wood there. I should have paint or something wrong here. It doesn't look like I do. That's okay. We'll leave it like that for now. We'll hit close. Now what we need to do is go up the top here. So if we right click, we're going to click appearance. Now I've got paint in my menu. I um, just want powder coat smooth will do. Powder coat black. Click on faces here, but I just realized that I've got something wrong here. And we're going to click and drag, and I'm going to select the face I want it on, which it's not letting me do. Just let select, oh, that's me if I zoom in further. No, it does not. Okay, we won't worry about that one for now. So we've got the center ring there um, in a timber color. So that's the first step. Now, when we work in Fusion 360, as I said last time, we do have um, our browser on the side here and our timeline down the bottom, so you can see both the steps we've done, the sketch and the extrusion. The last thing we're going to do with this is make it into a component. So we're going to click the New Component button up on the toolbar. We're going to say From Bodies. We'll select the body that we want to make it from and click OK. And you'll see here on the left now we have Component 1, Colon 1. We're going to rename that. So if we right click it, should be able to find rename here, possibly not. There we go, just double click it, and we'll change it to center ring. Alright, so that's our center ring completed.